hello and welcome to my another youtube video and in today's video we are going to be talking about continuous integration or ci in short so what is continuous integration in short it is a software development practice that involves frequently merging code changes into a central repository and then automatically building and testing the code to ensure that it is working as expected and the idea behind CI is to identify and fix issues early in the development process before they become a major problem. This can help teams to deliver software faster and more reliably and reduce the risk of delays or disruptions. There are many tools and platforms available for implementing CI such as Jenkins, Circle CI, Azure DevOps, GitHub also has its own solutions. They call it GitHub Actions. And these tools can be used to automate the build and test process and provide teams with feedback on the quality and stability of their code. So why CI is so important? There are some key advantages that I can highlight. For example, CI is absolutely necessary for faster feedback. By automatically building and testing code changes, Teams can get feedback on their work faster, which can help them to identify and fix issues more quickly. And then we can use CI for improved code quality. By regularly integrating and testing code changes, teams can catch issues early in the development lifecycle before they become more difficult and time consuming to fix. We can also use CI to reduce risk. What do I mean by that? By testing code changes automatically, teams can reduce the risk of introducing defects into production systems, which can save time and resource in the long run. All right, so these are the some key advantages that I like to highlight. And now let's talk about some of the use cases where CI rocks. For example, we can use continuous integration for large and complex projects. For projects with a large code base and many developers, CI can help to ensure that code changes do not break existing functionality and that the overall code base stays stable. We can also use CI for agile development. Agile teams often rely on CI to ensure that code changes are integrated and tested frequently, which helps to reduce the risk of delays or disruptions. All right? Then we can use continuous integration for open source projects. Continuous integration can be particularly useful for these open source projects where multiple developers may be contributing code changes from different locations around the globe. All right, so these are some use cases I love to highlight. We can use CI for large and complex projects. We can use CI for agile development and open source projects, right? In conclusion, continuous integration is a valuable practice for any team looking to improve the quality, speed, and reliability of their software development lifecycle, right? So that's all. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you found this overview of continuous integration really useful. And if you have any questions or comments or doubts, please don't hesitate to leave any comment in the comment section below. Thank you.